so we have uh, chicken teriyaki that we have prepped. Um, we have sweet and sour meatballs that we've prepped. Uh, there's a sweet potato chili cooking. Today we are heading to the grocery store because we're gonna meal prep some freezer meals. Chief's just hanging out out there. He's got his front paws on the ground and sitting on the step. Welcome back to another Axe Family video. I hope you are having a great day. Hope you have a smile on your face because it is a beautiful, beautiful day. That's right. What else do I say? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, welcome back. Taylor said it, here we are. Yeah, we're, in, uh, we're not in our truck right now. Uh, we just bought this brand new car. Just kidding. Uh, this is uh, Taylor's dad's car, and we're just taking it into town. Yeah, so we're gonna go get a bunch of groceries uh, and just prep some meals for him. Like I said yesterday, uh, we had to come down here because of a situation that came up, and so uh, we're gonna be staying at her parents' house while we're here. We'll probably be here for a few days, and so. We'll see what we can do while we're here. I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. So I grew up here in Portland, right outside of Portland, uh, my whole life. My parents just, well, about two years ago, moved out of my childhood home into a brand new home, um, even farther outside of Portland, which is very nice because the city is congested. <coughs> and there's lots of people in traffic all the time. So I enjoy coming back to visit, but Probably not a place I would like to end up just because of the city, you know, living on the ranch was really nice. You know, not a lot of people and helps to be married to Cody because he doesn't like the city either. We just passed the complex where I would play softball on the weekends. That's what I did growing up on the weekends was go to softball tournaments. Played softball through high school and a little bit through college. Excited to be going to California. Yeah, we're really excited to see what um, kind of competition is down there. Just a little bit about you. You're, I think, seventh in the conference in hitting. Um, and then I had to stop because I have some back pain. Um, so I stopped playing softball, but still love it. Would love to coach someday. And this is a uh, uh, Starbucks. It is a box if with stars in it. And I go there and I open the box and I pull all the stars out <laughs> because everyone needs a star for being happy and having a great time for the, the, the life.
family some freezer meals. Yesterday I got on Pinterest. Pinterest is great. Um, and looked up just freezer meal recipes and asked my mom what she would like. Found all the recipes and wrote down all the ingredients we needed. Um, so this morning I went through their cupboards and figured out what they already had so I didn't buy two of one thing. We just bought all those ingredients. So that was just over a hundred dollars and I think it'll last them It'll make at least six or seven meals, freezer meals. So we'll make them, we'll cook them today and tomorrow probably, and then put them in the freezer. And then they can just pull them out and reheat them and they're good to go. So super fast, easy thing to do. We did it a lot when we lived at the ranch. Budget friendly, save money over time. You know what's in your food when you're pulling it out of the freezer. <laughs> what? It's like seeing two cups of barbecue sauce. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Put everything in there. Okay, we are starting with pineapple meatballs. With barbecue sauce and peppers and onions. Pineapple and meatballs. And you let it sit. Um, until everything's cooked through. We'll just throw them in Ziploc bags, put them in the freezer, and then when my parents want to eat them, they'll warm them up and put it over rice. Easy meal. So we also got uh, food to make uh, sweet potato chili. Oh, we're gonna make an egg bake for the mornings with some um, sausage and sweet potatoes and eggs, and so we'll freeze that and they can just warm it up. We're gonna make chicken curry tonight and make multiple batches we can freeze that and then we'll just serve it over rice when oh we got ground turkey and lettuce to make lettuce wraps and action okay so we have uh chicken teriyaki that we have prepped sweet and sour meatballs there's a sweet potato chili cooking and we'll have at least gosh at least 12 meals um ready so a trick that i often do is i write on the ziploc bags um before i put the content in there i write exactly what it is the date that I made it and then directions how to cook it because you might grab a meal out of your freezer in a couple of months and you might not know what it is. So this is really helpful. I'm recording you <laughs> right now to say to you that if, if you don't need to come to my house on Fridays, then come on Tuesdays because we're going to have tacos Tuesdays. <laughs> Tacos Tuesdays. Uh, mostly for me to just eat mostly, but I like to say that you can come. Okay, 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 okay. Was that really recording? <laughs> <laughs> so freezer meals and meal prepping um, is something that saves money over time. It's something that you can do with your kids, with your husband, with your wife um, to hang out together. It, um, you can spend one day making your meals and you have them all for the month. So Really, really great thing to do. I encourage you to check it out and do it for yourself. So it's also something you can do to love others well. Um, so if you're new to our channel, welcome. Um, hit the subscribe button below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, yeah, thanks for being here. <laughs> Hats off to you guys.